Hey there, if you're watching this video, you've probably been asking yourself or been searching around, why do online reviews matter for your local business? Uh, hi, my name is Leo, and in today's video, I'm gonna be covering about the online reviews, how they can, this can be a powerful tool, right? Um, and if basically, especially if you've been searching about why do online reviews matter, right? Do I really need to apply it for my business? Then stay tuned. Uh, but real quick, let me just, um, um, tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Leo. I reside here in Solano County. Um, I help uh, small business owners uh, to increase their online exposure so more customers are able to find them, right? Uh, so for example, um, I work with clients that do not have any online presence at all and some of those will come to me because uh, obviously they will feel more confident if um, they do have an online presence, you know, having a website, be able that to, that the business are listed on on um, uh, on Google, stuff like that. Um, the name of my company is Digital Track. Uh, so, all right, let's go. Ahead, let's go ahead and get started. So, online reviews can be a powerful marketing tool, right? When up, when obviously staying on top of them to make sure when obviously you are keeping track of them when when uh, you are responding to them um, customers will see them whether you like it or not okay people are gonna go search about your business into Yelp Google Facebook etc and see what um, what other people are talking about your business looking at the pictures etc so it is definitely worth your time and effort to encourage good reviews and capitalize on the results to get the trust of new customers. Um, and obviously, of your, you should uh, always work with your staff or um, train your staff as well, right, to ensure that they encourage uh, good reviews, right, or, or obviously that they encourage that they do a great customer services to make sure that customers that do provide feedback as a review uh, are doing that. So instead of viewing customer service as a necessary chore, treat it as a marketing strategy, okay? Your customer service is a marketing strategy as opposed to a chore, it's a must because, um, well, it's a local community. People talk to other people. And so your business is not gonna, or businesses are not gonna get very far if, if we don't take customer service into consideration, if we, and if we take it as a chore, like, oh, we need to do this, then we're not gonna get too far, or probably we should not be in business, right? We should let somebody else do the run the business for us, um, etc. So um, it, it should be a marketing strategy. Customers who have positive service experience are often uh, happy to send uh, on goodwill, right? Meaning they are more than eager to share this information with their friends. They go on social media, they go into uh, review websites, they do recommendations and provide and provide review. So make that a valuable inbound marketing channel, right? The word of mouth reviews leads to high converted traffic and leads. So when somebody posts a review on site, uh, online, it's basically a word of mouth, so to speak, so to speak, experience. Because basically, um, most people that are posting there are local, <laughs> because obviously uh, most reviews are uh, more prone to local businesses that they to do that. So obviously that increases the, the traffic, right? More people are more willing to come and check you out, and then obviously uh, lead to depending on the type of uh, business you are. Uh, so online reviews also give you valuable information you can use to improve your business. All right, so don't take online reviews, especially those that have a, a negative impact about something bad, right? Take it as well as a, uh, what else can you get out of the that uh, review, right? Obviously, sometimes they just put one star and they don't say anything. Or sometimes they just put one or two words that don't mean anything, right? Those are meaningless, but concentrate on the ones that give a pattern, a pattern like, okay, I see these are things are happening over and over again. Let's let's work on fixing that because obviously if people keep talking about the same problem or same bad experience, something is happening. So online reviews over time will address nearly every aspect of your branch, including service, hours, cleanliness, courtesy, and salespeople. So it's worthwhile exercise to step back and be honest with yourself about what is and what isn't working. 
the longer you stay in business, the more you get feedback from your clients. So you should definitely listen to what the clients are saying, right? Those are your best uh, marketing t- strategies to listen to your clients, what they want, what they don't like. Um, uh, because that's over and over give us even more information to see what they want, to give them what they want, or more and more to give us information about something that we need to fix, etc. So I hope this information was helpful. Before you leave, I have something special for you, right? So if you go to my website, digitaltrack.co, and click on and do actually scan my business or just or you can just go to my website, my main website. So let me minimize here my camera real quick or my my video here. If you come to my website here real quick, right, um, digitaltrack.co, you will be able to get my contact information, but also I'm doing a complete report. I'm providing a complete report for those small businesses in Solano County that do not have an online presence. Or if you're wondering how your um, your business is showing up online, right? Um, is it, uh, is it, it, are you hearing complaints from customers that they finding some misinformation about your business? Or are you hearing complaints from clients that it's hard to find you online? or they, they, mean, they never knew you were there, right? Because they, you, they couldn't see anything about your business online. So if you hear some of those stuff, I'm providing a free report, just complete the information, click on the button, and then what's gonna do, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna receive a notification, an email to go ahead and with your information, build a report um, that will give us more information about what's going on and perhaps provide some feedbacks or, um, no feedback, but recommendations, right, of what can be done uh, to fix some of those stuff. So, uh, so if you want to also reach out to me on social media, you can do so. I'm usually I'm on Facebook, but you can also come to the bottom and you see all my different social media networks where you can find me at. Um, and um, if you go to Facebook, you can just, just search for Leo Callejas and you should be able to find me. I'm the one right here and you'll see this banner over here. Um, and, and you'll see me all over the <laughs> activities in the Bay, in the Solano County area and other areas. And you see posts, post uh, pictures about my family so that you know that I'm a real person. So I look forward to talking to you more if, um, if you have a question. All right. Have a good one. Bye.